This is Lin Shi, brush painting for beginners. And today we're changing a setup. We're in our warehouse loft because we're getting ready to set up for the um, in-person and virtual workshop uh, with Ning Ye and I um, at the last week end of October. So if you're interested, please check, please check it out with us. And uh, today we're going to do a Halloween, Holly, Halloween uh, theme. And I'm using uh, Jinghe paper. The reason I use this is that we're doing, going to do a lot of washes. So this is a good um, uh, lesson for beginners learning how to do washes. And um, uh, I'm using Jinghe because it has about 30% sizing on there. And there is a uh, tougher mulberry paper. So it will um, take the continuous washing, not like Xuan paper, that it's pretty fragile. And I also wanted to tell you how I cut the paper. So I had a full size of paper. This Jinghe is a little bit bigger than what our Xuan paper is. And I cut into four length, um, horizontal wise. And then I fold it in almost, leave about one eighth off, so like this. So then what I want to achieve is I wanted to do two square ones. So then I cut this. And I trim the side off. So now we have the square size we wanted. So this is what we're going to do. And um, there is a smooth side and then also a rough side. You wanted to paint on the smooth side. And then I have a paper plate here, and I'm going to use that as my guide for um, uh, the moon. And then I have a Crayola chalk and use as a resist. This doesn't keep all the moisture off, but to give me a guideline. So if you have um, crayon or pastel is good, to use as a wrist, uh, pre, uh, resist. So you do a circle. So this is where I'm going to place my moon. So that's my moon. Now I'm going to talk about the brushes I'm going to use. I'm going to use a three inch wash brush most people of you have, or you can use four and a half inch wash brush, which is the big wide one. You can see why the wide one is easier than the three, because the three you might need two. And then, one inch wash brush. My full lotus brush, and then my twig brush. Um, this you can replace with super flow or large flow, any kind of combination large volume brush. And then uh, the twig brush, you can use any line brush that you like. So then, in the process of painting, you can see that sometimes I use more than one wash brush just because so I can have a clean brush 
not spending a lot of time cleaning my brush. So then the first thing after I did this, the color. The, one of the very important color which you can use for later on for all your washes for your um, landscape. And this is one of our formula and you can follow. And which is, uh, you can use the artist gray, um, the charcoal gray, and uh, Windsor Emerald and um, as a base. Today I'm using the bright bright light, uh, which is a budget uh, Chinese watercolor. I'm using black. emerald green and then sky blue so this is my base for wash and then i will use the vermilion out also out of bright light and then just for the convenience i'm using the chunk yellow for my yellow but you definitely can use your bright light um yellow for this purpose and then um last but not least the ink so these are the four color i'm going to use and then the first one i'm going to mix with black and emerald green And sky blue. This is other three colors. So I keep my hands off. Then I will use a mixing brush, which is the very inexpensive watercolor brush or acrylic brush with very stiff tip. So I mix all these three color well. So it's almost black, but when you do the washes, you can see that it didn't come out completely black. Is this the color they refer to as shade? Yes. So in the landscape, you can use this as your shade. And then I'm going to start to do the two trees coming from the two sides. This time I'm using ink. Wet my brush and dry it on a paper towel. Tip with the... And then I use my twig brush to do branches. And if I'm doing a landscape, I would do the branches. I'm going to demo a little bit, like straight. But because we're doing the 
um, Halloween. So we wanted to make it a little bit more spookier. So I'm doing some. twist So then I'm doing this other side. It's the the tree trunk is a little bit higher, um, a little bit smaller. So then um, I'm doing the bat. So the bat is very simple. It is a little bit round head and then overall body and then two ears. I would do one here. And I do one here. You can get a lot of idea from internet on the Hollywood theme, so anything goes. You can do a cat, you can do a pumpkin, but today we're just uh, doing something to be very um, simple, so you know the logistic of it. Then we are going to do the washes. So I'm using, first I'm using the uh, four and a half inch. And then on the bottom, I will show you how to use your three inches. So I'm using clear water to kind of wet a little bit of where the washes are. So when you uh, paint, make sure that your tree are dry. So then 
I will use my three inch, oh, four and a half, and I will dip the corner with this shade color, and then you kind of mix. You can see it's not complete black from the mixing play already. So then you do. So you are overlapping. So then this big brush, the if you have any dropping, you want to soften it up, you can use the other side to soften it up. If you are using a three inch, then you will have another brush on the side to soften it up. So overlapping your stroke. Soften it up with the other end. So that's why a wide wash brush really helpful. So then you do the bottom, you turn the shape the other way. So this is the shade that I'm done. So I'm setting it aside, let it dry. This is not quite dry, but it's a little bit drier than the other one. So then I will use um, three inch wash brush and load a little yellow. So this time you turn the color side down 
and brushing it up. Ideally, you want to wait a little drier than what I have, but to save time, we're going to do it right on the top. So now you have your vermilion straight dry, and then you load the vermilion on the side. And you mix. And then you soften it up on the edge. Just the edge. All right, this is a, our simple Halloween creation. 